Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to C++ programming language from problem analysis to program design. And so we are going to see from the fifth edition, and I'm sorry for the postponing you for this. The fact that I was so busy for preparing the exit examination. So let's just starting now. So one of the most important way is to know about the programming with the problem analysis and coding execution cycle. The programming is very common in some resources. It is a step of instructions that usually the programmer uses to for the process of uh, problem solving, which has been implemented usually keeping it for implementation in a computer programming. Different people use different uh, techniques to solve the problems, and it is very easy to follow. Some techniques are nicely outlined and easy to follow. It's uh, sometimes we know Every technique has included from problem analysis until you fix the problem and analyze the problem, you must include to, to design the program. Then, they not only solve the problem, but also give insight into how the solution was reached. That's why we know the problem solving. This problem solving techniques can be easily modified if the domain of the problem changes. While it also includes like the pro problem solving like flowcharts, pseudocode, and coding with algorithm. Algorithm, a step-by-step -step problem solving process in which a solution is arrived at in a finite amount of time. In programming environment, we have the three steps that include the problem must solve process requirement. You have to analyze the problem. All we have to do is to analyze the problem. Giving with the system analysis to given to outline the problem and the solution requirements. Design an algorithm to solve the problem. Second, implement the algorithm in a programming language. You have to implement. Write the programming language like C++, Java, Python, and so many things and verify that the algorithm must work. And thirdly, maintain the program by using and modifying if, it, if the problem domain changes or not. Make sure the program must use and given the requirement with the problem solving at the algorithm. Then, your overall programming experience will be successful if you spend enough time to complete the problem analysis before attempting to write the programming instructions. When you have to do while you are working in the programming language, you must spend enough time, a little bit, before you doing something else. Usually you do this work on paper using a pen or pencil. Taking this careful approach to the programming has a number of advantages. It is much easier to discover errors in a program that is well analyzed and well designed. It is much easier to discover errors in a program that is well analyzed and well designed. Furthermore, a carefully analyzed and designed program is much easier to follow and modify. Every time, the algorithm must be sure and every programmer must debug. Either if there is an error, they must remove it in order to debug it. We will learn about this, about the programming language. Furthermore, a carefully analyzed and designed program is much easier to follow and modify even the most experienced programmers must spend a considerable amount of time analyzing a problem and designing an algorithm so every algorithm has a finite steps a way to organizing for the programmers how many times that included with the problem analysis to fix the problems and modify the solution and complicated the time resolution that helps us to analyze the problem, designing the program, 
with such a step by step that has a finite amount of time that's maybe work with algorithm let us see the examples of an algorithm in this example we design sorry for the interruption now let's start we design an algorithm to find the perimeter and area of rectangle so we we learned this mathematically formula in geometry so to find the perimeter and area of a rectangle you need to know rectangles length and width we have to know first of all the length and the width every time now let us see the first the perimeter and area of the rectangle are the given, given by the following formula we have a perimeter it's called two two times length plus width and area equals two length times width and the common algorithm to find the perimeter and area of the rectangle is first of all get the length of the rectangle right and second get the width of the rectangle thirdly you have to find the perimeter using the following equation as much as c then write perimeter which calls to two times length plus width and then finally find the area using the following equation area which calls to length times width we can write in C++ as much as we can. And the second example of an algorithm. In this example, we design an algorithm that calculates the sales tax and the price of an item sold in a particular state. The sales tax is calculated as follows. The state's portion of the tax sales tax is 4%. And the city's portion of the sales tax is 1.5 percent if the item is a luxury item such as a car more than fifty thousand dollar then there is ten percent luxury tax to calculate the price of the item we need to calculate the status portion of the sales tax the city's portion of the sales tax and if it is a luxury item then the luxury tax now let us see the algorithm how it's work suppose we have a sale price denotes the selling price of the item a state sales tax denotes the state sales tax then city sales tax denotes the city's sales tax luxury tax then denotes the luxury tax sales tax sales tax denotes the total sales tax and the amount due is denotes the final price of the item to calculate the sales tax we must know the selling price of the item and whether the item is a luxury item we have a state sales tax and city sales tax can be calculated using the following formulas we have state sales tax which is called to sell price times 0 0.04 which means about about four percent means while this city sales tax we call it to sell price times 0 0.015 which means so usually we can see sales tax here that's given which means this means 0 0.015 means 15 percent next you can determine the luxury tax as follows if item is a luxury item luxury tax is must be 
sales price times 0 0.1 which means at least 10 percent at least includes 10 percent unless otherwise luxury which goes to zero Next, you can determine the sales tax as follows. We have a sales tax here, which is called to state sales tax, plus city sales tax, in addition, luxury tax, taxes. And finally, you can calculate amount due as follows. Amount due, which calls to sale price, addition with sales tax. The algorithm to determine sales tax and the amount due is, therefore, get the selling price of the item, first of all. And then determine whether the item is a luxury item or not by using if else statement find the state's portion of the sales tax using the formula the state's portion of the sales tax here and finally find the city's portion of the sales tax using the formula ct sales tax there then find the luxury tax using the formula following formula determine whether if it is uh, luxury item is or not luxury tax or equals to sell price times 0 0.1 unless otherwise luxury tax equals to zero then and find sales tax using the formula sales tax which calls to state sales tax addition with city sales tax then luxury tax and find amount due using the formula as we usually hear So I hope we have left one, one topics until we finish the, the unit one. Until then, we will to be continued.